I switch to a window manager, here's my thoughts. Also join the Penguin by Discord community to be notified of announcements and uploads, ask questions, participate in polls and decisions, and chat with me and the community about Linux, tech, and other topics. Link in the description below. You guys have constantly been asking me to finally try a window manager, and I've been hesitant, but after running out of ideas and things to do, I finally decided to try one. Now, I've been using Linux exclusively for about three years, and have played around with Linux for the past seven years, but I've actually never touched window managers before, so this is a very new experience to me. For those who don't know, a window manager is a very minimal environment that lets you run graphical apps and is usually customized by most people who use one, or as we say it, RICED, to include other components like a top bar and effects like animations and blur. Out of the box though, they're very lightweight and bare bones. People often compare desktop environments to window managers, and the main difference is desktop environments are fully featured graphical user interfaces and have everything you need and expect in a regular desktop experience, whereas a window manager only manages windows by default, although of course, you can rice it. Window managers don't even have a settings app out of the box, or any quick settings menu, or any launcher, or any of that by default. You have to configure everything through a text file and multiple different programs, and install everything through the terminal, although of course, if you'd like, you can install a graphical package manager or a software center. Most distros, however, already include some customizations if they offer a window manager version of their distro. Also, desktop environments use window managers under the hood to manage windows. Before I switch to i3, well not i3, sorry, Sway and Fedora, I do just want to say one thing, Kali Linux has been one of my favorite distros so far. It is, it's truly a great distro, you have tons of tools, it's really fast, has new software, and it has really cool features like undercover mode. And I was going to switch to the GNOME version, but people kept asking about window managers, so I will do that some other time. But as you can see over here, uh, yeah, you know, you have undercover mode. Then you also have normal mode, which Kali's just beautiful, by the way, just absolutely beautiful. You have, of course, offensive tools, which are fun to play with. And uh, you have Kali Purple, which has also defensive and security tools, which I plan to check out when I tried the GNOME version. But yeah, just in general, Kali has been a really good distro. I just wanted to say that. Okay, so onto my experience, I've been using Fedora Sway for about two days now, and I must say the installation was really fast, about nine minutes, which is very impressive. And regarding Sway itself, at first I really hated it and wanted to go back to GNOME, but now, well, I still prefer desktop environments by far, but I'm starting to warm up to it. I riced it and set it up which wouldn't have been possible without Polyskull, a Discord member who dedicated three hours of his time helping me play around with the config file and set up the system, so thanks Polyskull. And right now, it's actually looking pretty good to be honest. Once this installation finishes, you will see clips of my experience. Wow, Fedora, you are fast as hell. That's crazy. Okay, not gonna lie, I despised Sway at first, but um, let me just clear some windows here. After using it a little bit and kind of playing around, I'm starting to uh, kind of warm up to window managers, not gonna lie. Actually, uh, pretty neat. It's also pretty ugly, but 
I want to rice this one. I'm, well, I'm going to rice Sway over here and make it look nicer. Uh, with the help of some of my Discord members I asked, I kind of know how to rice now, so I'm going to try that out. Also, Fedora Sway's lock screen is at first confusing and very simple, but it's actually, in my opinion, quite cool. So if we just enable it, at first it's like, okay, where do I input my password? So if we just type anything, This is what it looks like when you type it in. When you hit enter, if it's incorrect, verifying, wrong. But then if you put in your real password, There you go. You get logged in, just like that. Pretty cool. Why is my keyboard layout suddenly in Russian? What? Sway, what? What are you doing now? What is this? Okay, so I believe that I have found the uh, solution to that weird keyboard layout problem. Apparently Sway is weird, and um, if you press right control, the keyboard layout is now Russian, so, I mean, yeah, but, um, if you press it again, then it's Australian, which it's been this whole time, I didn't even know, but hey, it's still English, it works, so, you know, now, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it works. So that, that's interesting to know. I don't know why the hell uh, right control moves to Russian, but hey, uh, that's Sway, I guess. Also, we need to remove some of these um, uh, XFCE apps like Thunar and replace them with Libidwide to apps. So I'm going to do that real quick. Ah, much better. Not only is it nicer, but I can actually open zip files unlike in Thunar. Now, I will actually be using Sway for about a week, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. Subscribe if you like my content, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.